Hey everybody, this is Mr. McKee with Net225. Uh, today I'm going to be going over Packet Tracer 3.5.5, which is configuring DTP. Alright, um, so first thing we want to do is look up here at the addressing table. It gives us all our IP addressing, uh, subnet mask, and things, CIDR24, so that's pretty standard. Alright, so we're going to be configuring static trunking and configuring and verifying DT DTP. All right, so uh, as the number of switches in a network increases, the administration necessary to um, manage the VLANs and trunks can be challenging. To ease some of the VLAN and trunking configurations, trunk negotiation between network devices is managed by the Dynamic Trunking Protocol, or D DTP, and is automatically enabled on Cisco Catalyst 2960s and Catalyst uh, 3650 switches. In this activity, you will configure trunk links between the switches. You will assign ports to VLANs and verify end-to-end -end connectivity between hosts in the same VLAN. You will configure trunk links between the switches and you will configure VLAN 999 as the native VLAN. All right, so now that we know what we want to do, first we need to verify VLAN configuration. So on switch one, which is right here in the center, click in there, hit enter. All right, so let's go enable. All right, go to privileged exec mode and enter the show VLAN brief command to verify that the VLANs that are present. All right, so we're gonna show VLAN brief. All right, so VLANs, you know, we've got a VLAN 1, 99, 999, and all these other standard ones. Okay, so what VLANs are configured on the switches? These from, from now on really we'll have to don't mention those but just mention 199 and 999. Okay. And actually you can just say these these are the only two that are configured. Alright, so what do we gotta do now? Complete step one A on switch two and switch three. All right, same thing on that one. And let's do switch three. All right, so you got a management VLAN and a native VLAN. All right, so in switch two, which is right here. We want to create VLAN 10 and name it red. All right, so let's go to global config, config T, uh, VLAN 10, and name it. And make sure, I don't know if it specified it, but make sure you do, it might be, it's probably case sensitive when it grades it, so make sure you do it uppercase when it asks for it. All right, so name red. All right, so we need to do VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 also. So let's do VLAN 20. Name is going to be blue. And VLAN 30. Name is going to be yellow. Verify the addition of new VLANs. Uh, enter show VLAN brief as at the privileged exec mode. All right, so let's exit all that. Exit all that. That just to show us that we're going back to the privileged, privileged exec mode. Show VLAN brief. All right, I've got 10, 20, and 30 now. All right, good to go. Repeat, re repeat the previous steps to create additional VLANs on S3. All right, so let's go to global config, go to T, um, let's do VLAN 10, name it red, VLAN 20, name it blue, uh, VLAN 30, name it yellow. All right, let's exit. And now if I do a do, do show VLAN brief. I can go there and I can 
and see what I've configured. All right. Part three is assign VLAN to VLANs to ports. You use the switch port mode access command to set access mode for the access links. All right, so we're setting up all, all the access links with VLANs. Uh, use the switch port access VLAN with the VLAN ID command to assign a VLAN to an uh, access port. All right, so starting with switch two. Let's do it at global and fig, fig t. All right, so we're going to do F01 through F08. So interface range F01 through 8. And make it switch port. Switch port mode access. So we're telling it, we're telling it all those are access ports. Um, and then switch port access VLAN 10. All right, so that's there. Great. VLAN 10. All right, next, what we're going to do is interface range F09 through 16. And see how I didn't, I didn't do exit? I just kept on clicking. I kept on going, entering that at the end of this command, so it understands what we're doing. We don't have to go back every time. All right, so interface range F09 through 16. Okay, what are you doing here? All right. Switch port mode access again, and then it's going to be a switch port. Just make sure you're careful when you're doing this using the history. All right, switch port access VLAN 20. So I'm right here. That was that command. All right, next command is going to be right here. And actually, if I want to control C that and then paste it, I believe that will work. Yep. All right, then switch port mode access again. Just be careful. Change it to 30. And I believe that's good. All right. Assign VLANs to, to ports on S3 using the uh, assignments from the table above. Now that you have ports assigned to VLANs, try to ping. Okay, so let's do switch three the same way. I think it might be good to do let's see let's do it this way so I'm going to do Interface range F01 through 8. Switch. This. Switch port. Mode access. And this. Copy, paste. Access the ten interface range F09 through sixteen. Copy this, paste that, make that twenty. All right, interface range. F zero seventeen through twenty four. Make that thirty. Right, so, so let's make sure. All right, we're making F one through F 
F0 went through uh, 8. An access port with VLAN 10 or making 9 through 16 access ports with VLAN 20. That's there. And we're making F017 through 24, an access port and switch port access VLAN 30. All right, so all that looks good. If we control C to copy, make sure we're on switch three. All right, make sure we're in uh, global config mode and then if we paste, And actually, it probably went better and better if I hit enter right there before I copied it. So I have to hit enter again. All right, but we should be good there. Now that you um, assign VLANs to ports on S3, we've done that. Now that you have the ports assigned to VLANs, try to ping. PC1 into PC6. PC1 and PC6, PC1, PC6, they're on the same network. Control copy, right click paste. the pings on timeout all right so timed out reason being we haven't set up our trunks yet all right, so let's exit out of that all right so configure trunks on s1 s2 and s3 dynamic trunking protocol manages the trunk links between cisco switches currently all the trunk all the switch ports are in the default trunking mode, which is dynamic auto. In this step, you will change the trunking mode to dynamic desirable for the links between switches S1 and S2. The link between switches S1 and S3 will be set as a static link. Use VLAN 999 as the native VLAN in this topology. On switch one, configure the trunk link to the dynamic desirable. On the gigabit 01 interface, the configuration S1 is shown below. All right, so let's start with S1. Hit enter. Well, there we go. All right, let's go to Pro's exec, global config. All right. So we're setting interface zero one, making it switch port. Switch port mode, dynamic, desirable. All right, let's hit enter. Okay. So the, the trunk link will be uh, negotiated because of the uh, port on S2, all right? And it just, it, you just saw it do it. Um, it just con uh, converged. It's set to, de to default dynamic auto. All right, so it had a little orange ball, but now it's fully um, converged. All right, so what we got now? On switch S2, verify the trunk has been negotiated by entering show interface links. Let me follow the directions. Uh, show interfaces trunk.
make sure it shows right there. What is the mode in the status for this port? The mode's auto, status is trunking. And one little tidbit, this shows negotiated, right? This wasn't specifically configured for that. All right, so got that question. For the trunk link between S1 and S3, configure interfaces gigabit01 as a static link on S1. In addition, disable DTP negotiation on interface gigabit02 on S1. So make it a trunk link and then turn off uh, DTP negotiation. All right, let's do it. I believe I can go from right there. Interface gigabit zero two. Yep. All right. Switch port mode trunk. All right. Switch. Oh, let's do up arrow. Switch port nine. Negotiate. All right. So if you see that. Got some changes going on here. All right, show the use the show DDP command to verify the status of DTP. Right, let's, so let's exit out of that. Let's go back to privileged exec. Uh, show DTP. All right, so DTP is turned off on one of those for one of those interfaces. It looks just like this. All right, verify trunking is enabled on all switches using the show interface interfaces trunk trunk command. All right, so it's negotiating on one. Um, trunk is. Turned on on the other interface. Let's see if I see anything else. Port mode. Okay, desirable on. Um, everything else looks the same. So there's the native VLAN for these trunks. There, and I'm going to copy this go to and actually, there should interface trunk on that one already. Let's go to three, exit, exit, right click, paste. Oh, let's see. All right, so what we got looking at this, let's see. Verify trunking is enabled on all switches using the show interfaces trunk command. Now we know that S3, let's look back at it. Interfaces trunk. All right, so there's no no trunks on there right now since we made our change. Show VLAN. All right. So right now, gigabit zero two is a access port. So we have to change that. All right. All right. So. What is the native VLAN for these trunks currently? Let's look at this one. All right, VLAN is 
Looks like they're all ones. Should have been facing this trunk. All right. So we're going to configure VLAN 999 as the native VLAN for trunk links on S1. Interface range, interface range, zero one gigabit zero one to two. Switch port trunk native VLAN nine hundred ninety nine. All right, what messages uh, did you receive on S one? How would you correct it? All right, inconsistent. Looks like. Uh, spanning tree received BP, uh, BPDU with inconsistent peer VLAN ID1 on gigabit 01 VLAN 99. All right, blocking gigabit 01 on VLAN 999. Inconsistent local LAN. All right, so to correct it, you're gonna you can configure the same VLAN native VLAN on switch one and or switch two and switch three. And you'll keep getting those issues. All right. So after we get that message, what do we need to do? We actually need to configure VLAN 999 on S2 and S3. All right. Yep, I know. Thank you for telling me that. Let's do config T. Um, interface. So we're on switch two, so we're going to do interface gigabit zero one. Switch port trunk native plan nine nine. Okay. And S three, same thing. Let's do config T. Um, the phase. Keep it zero two. Switch port. Switch port trunk native. VLAN nine nine. And I believe. Did it do it already? All right. So it should be good. All right, attempt to ping from PC1 to PC6. How is the ping unsuccessful? All right, ping one to six. Six again is the same thing. We're still not connecting. All right, still timing out. See if I can find my place. All right. Show VLAN. Whoops. Do a exit. All right, so we're trying to figure out why we can't do one to six. Those are on. Through. 
right, zero one is a trunk port. Let's see. Let's go here. There, that's in there is a access port. That looks wrong. Okay. Well, that's an issue right there. Let's look at S1. Oh, I see one thing. All right, so the VLANs aren't set up on switch one. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Switch one. I know. Um, VLAN 10. VLAN is red, Running 20, whoops, almost messed that up, Hang. blue, VLAN 30, Hang. yellow, So that's one issue. Now also over here, let's see, go to S3. Show in your face. Trunk. Configure, all right. <clears throat> so that's one issue. What is the mode of encapsulation of well, that's definitely an issue. All right, so it, it'll match gigabit zero two on S one. So we need to enable trunking. All right. So let's do whoops. Config T. Ah, interface gigabit zero. Where's that zero two? Switch port. Switch port. Trunk needed. Relay nine nine. Right. Switch port mode trunk and let's make non negotiate. So we're good. What is the not negotiation of trunk? All right. What is the mode of calculation of gigabit zero two after the change? 
Let's go back and look at it. All right, show interface trunk. All right, now it look better. All right, so mode is on. Uh, status is trunking. Okay, so we did that. I did that a little bit backwards. All right, so show mode and encapsulation after the change. That's after the change. Issue the command. Let's see. Show interface. See interface. Whoops. Gigabit zero to switch. All right. What is the negotiation of trunking? Off. All right. So I think we're good. Ping from PC1 to PC6. Which is 10.2. All right, we get good there. Let's ping from PC2 to PC5. PC5 is right there. And 68, whoops. 68, 20.2. All right, good reply there. And then finally, three to four. Dot .2. All right, we're good to go. All right, I think that's it. Took about 40 minutes. Not too bad. Well, actually, I've been recording for about 32 minutes, so it's not too bad. Let's look down through here. Yep, we should be good to go. You can hit check results. But what you guys need to save is um, submit this PKA file that's complete. Uh, click check results. Make sure this has your name on it and everything's correct in there. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.